Hello and welcome back. I'm going to uh, take a go at those bell gargoyles again, I think. Um, I think I'm still off the uh, the uh, the server at the moment. I didn't reconnect since the last video kicked me. But, under the circumstances, I'm actually thinking I might just stay off it. Because I'm going to be entering the bell tower. And it's annoying enough without uh, being invaded. If it was just me, I probably would just put up with it, but... You know, it's not just me. I've got, uh... It, you know, it takes time to record and, uh... Put these things up. I could do without the random invasion that I'm going to lose anyway. <laughs> like now's not exactly the best time for me to be uh, trying to improve my PvP score, so let's uh, go for it, as it were. I honestly don't know if this will go better or worse than what I already was doing last time I tried it. But their existence does annoy me, so I'm going to try and kill them. At least until I prove to myself that I really can't do it. Oh, okay. Seems like if you're not connected, you uh, get an invasion anyway. That's pretty interesting. I wonder where the Dark Spirit is. Guess maybe it's upstairs. Oh well. Fine by me. I hate how these guys have little piercing attacks. It's annoying. Now you're almost going to kill me because of it. Oh well, let's uh, life gem up. I suppose the NPC bellkeeper must be up the top floor. Which means I can still get to the boss gate without uh, any problems. Here goes nothing. Oh my god! Okay. Shielding is not enough. Come at me, bro. Damn it. So powerful. <laughs> I know I complained about uh, Ornstein, but I'm actually okay with these Bell Gargoyles as uh, copy paste bosses because they've at least uh, redone them. Like, Ornstein felt like he's been lifted completely from the other game, but like these ones feel like they're at least been reworked a little. They've got uh, different weapons, and they do different things, and they've got different skin. I, uh, I can, I can go for that sort of thing. What I can't go for, however, is how badly I just did. I wonder what would happen if I. What the? Oh wait, you were in here the whole time, were you? Very well. I was going to say, let's... these things probably aren't going to help me. No, the crossbow is going to be too slow if I rely on that. 
Still, you never know. Maybe this uh, royal greatsword will uh, be more comfortable. I could really just use something with a bit of reach, to be honest. But uh, I guess this won't actually help too much. Still, the thrusting attack might. Just depends. Okay, it reaches a little further. And a little, yeah, the forward thrust move has some utility. Hopefully I won't be randomly invaded by another bellkeeper in a different location. Hopefully the bellkeeper is always in the same spot. Ugh. Look at me, master of what I do. <laughs> I'm so bad. Really gotta pay more attention to enemies that I'm... Like, I'm... I feel like I'm used to these enemies, so I'm not paying them the attention they actually deserve. And I should really be treating everything as if it has got my name on it to kill me. I was a little confused the first time as to which gargoyle was going to come to life first. It's definitely this one. Okay, I've chosen a very poor weapon. Damn it! What just happened? Why did my camera float over that way? Okay. Now that I've chosen poorly, I don't think I could do anything about this. This is uh, going to be my end. Yes, another wasted uh, battle. No way! This is working out. Ooh, sweeping attacks are nice though. Like, if you can hit a lot of people at once, that's a good thing. Damn it, I can't control which one I'm targeting properly. Running away! I'd like to uh, go behind me, huh? It'd be nice if I could kill any of these guys. I like it when they breathe fire because it usually means they're kind of idiots. They become stupid. Damn it. Come down! I would like to kill you. Or like a fourth or fifth one turns up. Take that. Ow. Getting too big for my britches now. I think I'm some sort of master of the universe. I'm not. Which one just came back to life? That one, huh? Oh. Even with my apparently terrible weapon, I'm still improving a little. Ow. Pain. Lots of it. Um, I don't even think it's worth it, to be honest. Should probably just give this one up for dead. No, no, I got a little better. 
Throwing myself at fights is the only way I know how to do this sort of thing. <laughs> I can imagine there are better weapons for this, but fuck it. We're going to have to go with the weapons I have and just try and make it work. Hey, I beat it. I beat the bell gargoyles in the other game without shield, with just my uh, cestuses. So I know all about bad weapons and making do. I just wish that skills were uh, more transferable between games, because apparently they are not. I stink, I stink when uh, ever a new game comes out, because apparently that's just my fate when it comes to new games. Also, I've wasted a ton of life gems being lazy when I really should have just used my miracles. Oh well. LOL Sometimes the lock-on is just retarded. Why would it lock me onto something across the room like that? Let's get rid of these guys quickly. What am I doing? Right. Let me guess, you guys aren't going to give me much of a chance here. For life gems. Damn it. Oh, what kind of combo was that? God damn it. How many are out? Just three? Looks like four. Ow! I can't believe I was doing better with the other weapon. <laughs> Probably because it had slashes and stuff. Trying to focus. The gargoyle I want is always the one which is furthest away. Probably just focus on trying to get rid of the one which is making itself available, but. Ow! That didn't look like it was hitting me. But it is. You guys are a pack of asses. Bag of dicks! Ah! I almost had him. Go down. The world doesn't need you. Ow. Let me guess another one's joining in. No, not yet. Damn it. Seriously need more... Like, I need... More crowd control -y types of uh, weapon. Damage might be good on this, but the reach is bad. I would actually be doing better if I had something more sweepiness. Let's try something else entirely. 
a spear, or a halberd, maybe? I don't know. Give it a go. Don't particularly like the idea of a... Uh, And again, maybe if we uh, use some augments, maybe I might get somewhere with this. So, also, I probably should put my chime on. It won't hurt anything. They have some heal miracles around. Let's see. Apply magic, right hand weapon, apply lightning, apply dark. Let's go with some magic. Now, if I use this... Okay, that's not great. That's not great. That's pretty good. I always thought the hell but... Ah, okay. There it is. Well, it has reach. So let's give it a whirl. Not going to be great on the damage front, though. The vanilla way. But maybe after I stick some uh, magical slime all over it, we'll get some decent damage out of it. It's worth a, worth a try. Lol. My damage is really bad. Oh, that did decent. Just very slow as well. I suppose it's a matter of... If you hit them with the wrong part of a health wood, it seems like it doesn't quite do as well. It's like I'm gonna die to this little prick. Because I'm bad at managing my stamina with this weapon. Yep. <laughs> That's a really awkward swing. Or at least it is against something that tiny. Yes, yeah, so I'm not... Like, I... I Remember the Halberd from Dark Souls being a bit more swing. This one doesn't have much swing on it at all, it's all poke. Or down slice. The only swing is on the double-handed strong and that's going to get me destroyed if I uh, use that. Hmm. Still, maybe the augments idea isn't a bad one. Maybe I just need to use a different sword. Like, can I augment this sword? I cannot. Damn. Still, I like this sword because it lets me swing it around. Is there a, a box here I haven't opened? There is indeed. I guess I must have been walking past it this whole time like an idiot. Priest chime. Oh well. <laughs> no harm, no foul, I guess. <laughs> Cleric sacred chime. Priest chime. Well, it's better, I guess, in some ways. Except for whatever this is. Casting speed is lower. Ugh. That ain't great. Apparently, across the home, many clerics King Ver Vendrake held a liquid opinion of their powers and kept them only as attendants to ceremony. <laughs> okay. Not the land of clerics and gods, then. Oh well. We fight on. Shouldn't underestimate the uh, upgraded weaponry. Yeah, 
You can see if I'm concentrating, they're not any problem at all. Just, I'm not very good at concentrating at all. In fact, I'm pretty bad at it. Well, let's try this again. Ow! Great start. Hate the way they cover each other. Ah, oh, god damn it. Just when you think you got one, the other one does something and interrupts you. I can't get a second swing in. And here comes the third one. The only good thing about the third one is... That it seems like, uh, maybe we might get some fire breath attacks in now. And those do expose weaknesses. Get one in, run away. Hello? Ow. Oh, crap. They hurt me more than I hurt them. Again. Well, I'm just starting to feel like there's a bit of a uh, sense to this. Oh, crap. Although my problems appear to be manifesting. It's like if only they weren't so damn energetic. Crap. Yep. Damn. I couldn't defeat one of them in time. I came close though. <laughs> so close. I think that's going to be the motto of uh No, back to the Lightning Sword, I think. Because I have a better idea of, like, what I should be doing now, I think. Like, I think there's a way. My spirit is not yet broken. It's getting uh, pushed down quite a bit, but it's not broken. <laughs> Oh my god, this dog! How can it just not be hit sometimes? Okay, so lots of damage on one guy. As much as possible. But it's actually easier when there's three gargoyles out, because one of them will start breathing fire and basically putting itself as a target. Which is weird. Like, I actually do more damage when there's three out rather than when there's two out. Because when there's two out, I always seem to be getting hit by the one that I'm not hitting. Uh, 
wouldn't it be nice? Okay, let's take a very conservative approach to uh, attacking these guys. Attack. The other one to attack. Almost. Ah, oh, damn it. Finally starting to get somewhere. Now they're using quick attacks I can't do anything with. Oh! And off camera stab. I think I might edit this down. <laughs> Just to be a bunch of uh, bell gar gargoyle fights. As I stubbornly attempt to uh, try and kill them over and over and over. That's okay, I've done that before. I did that with uh, the ONS fight in my Dark Souls playthrough. It was fine. <laughs> I'm good for a challenge, just not this one, it seems. That's interesting. I guess it's possible it's down to the amount of damage you do to a gargoyle. Not exactly four kings, but not exactly, uh... Nope. Random either. Oh, crap. Sometimes everything goes wrong.
Damn it. Going silent. It's not helping me. That's a lot of uh, flames. Damn it. Another one's coming to life, isn't it? can barely see anything. Who knows how many can come to life. Looks like quite a few there. Okay, I took one one down. Can I get the one behind? Looks like I can. Okay. That's good. But uh, who knows how many I can actually kill. Damn it. I can read their attacks pretty easy, but... Doesn't mean I can do anything about it. Oh crap. Too greedy. And there's one right next to me up there. Ready for fair fights, huh? I'm not even certain how I managed to pull that one off just then. Almost looked like Good it happened. This is just an exercise in utter patience. Oh, tried to roll back, but I guess I didn't like that. Oh, shit worse than anything could have happened. If a whole bunch of them start breathing fire, then I'm in some trouble. when they get the half health individually they start changing their attack pattern to breathe fire which does mean I could try some more risky tactics perhaps to try and bring them down because a gargoyle that's breathing fire is not very mobile they learnt from the other game. They do do a lot of damage. What is that? They still had another trick? Seriously, that's all I needed.
I don't have time for this. I'm surprised no other gargoyles have woken up. I'm going to die just because, you know, fuck it. If I could find time for a miracle, that would be something. It's a miracle! Like, if I can't hit those guys behind you, then I'll just hit you. Damn it, what's with these guys? Ah, good decoy. Oh, crap. Excellent decoy. But you're done. Okay. At the moment, there's only two left, but I am at the end of my rope as far as doing anything else. seem to be the only one left. Yeah, that was probably a bit lucky on my part. Ah. Oh. Finally! Yes! I have defeated the Bell Gargoyles. Ugh, I'm gonna have to go back and look at the video to find out how many tries that actually took. <laughs> I was probably badly equipped and it's an optional encounter, I don't know how difficult it is in the grand scheme of things, but damn it. That's a lot of gargoyles to have to kill. Hopefully, like I, I don't even know what I was expecting from this, but hopefully it's something. Southern Ritual Band. What does this mean? I'm assuming that's a ring, so I'll look at it from here. Southern Ritual Band. Allows attunement of additional spells. Attunement slots. That's nice. One of the secret treasures restored in Aldea raises the number of spells you may attune. This modest looking ring contains very powerful magic. To imagine what unspeakable deeds were performed to create such things, one only needs to recall the cruel fate of the residents of Aldea. Okay. That was cheery. Looks like some sort of one-way bonfire too. Where does this... Oh wait, no. Bonfire to the Belfry Luna. Oh wait, there's a... Uh... There's a ladder here. Okay. Still, you can't actually uh, get in this way. Because there's no stairs. So the only way to challenge the bell gargoyles was from the other side anyway. I suppose for members of the Bell Covenant, though, this might actually be a decent uh, bonfire. That's a lot of... that's a lot of dogs. Are they guarding something good? Who can say? 
<laughs> they almost look like black phantoms down there. Actually, you know what? I got 28,000 souls. I know what I want to do. Before I do anything else. Back to Majula. I have a ring I wanted to get. Just to see what it could do. Running, running, running! Let's go! That's why I'm here, after all. Let's get the Ring of Prayer. Hooray! May the power. Yes, yes. Oh. I got it. I always, I wanted to check this out though. Let's see. Ring of Prayer. Where are you? This one. Ring of Prayer increases faith. Ring blessed by the High Priest Volgan increases faith. Yes. That was, uh, like, I understood the idea. Let's, uh, let's replace the Ring of Life with the Ring of, pa the Ring of Prayer. What's... how much faith did I get? So I got 17 now. If I take the Ring of Prayer off... Actually, I could... I think I could see that from the... Oh, maybe I couldn't. Oh. Well. Look at it the other way. So it increases your faith by five. That's a lot. Under the circumstances. Oh wait, if I had switched my equipment status. There we are, I can see how much. Seems like it also increases my life and some of my damage scaling, I would expect. Since I'm using a lightning weapon. Yeah, it's totally worth having. I don't need the silver cat ring for everyday things. Probably should be using it for other things. This ring slot. I guess with that you could use the old knight stuff much easier. Just depends how much the degradation is slowed. For now to increase poise. There we are. It's probably a better uh, set of rings. I didn't even think to look at my rings during that whole saga with the bell gargoyles. What a ridiculous uh, thing to do. I was fighting them the whole time with a freaking silver cat ring. What a waste. Oh well. The bell gargoyles are dead. So now there's uh, well what is there? I probably have to uh, go back to the Lost Bastion and uh, well, the Lost Bastille and uh, the, that Valley of whatever. What was it called? The Harvest Valley? Yes, that would be it. That and the the Grave of Saints, I suppose, are the destinations of choice so far. I'm surprised they bother separating places like the Lost Bastille and Belfry Luna from each other, because they're roughly the same thing, aren't they? The Belfry Luna's only just like a little perch off the Lost Bastille at most. Oh well. I guess that's their thing. Same thing with the Cathedral of Blue, like, it's just part of the Tower of Flame, really. <laughs> oh well. It is not to be arguing why. Uh, I hope you enjoy what will probably be very cut up footage of me fighting the Bell Gargoyles, but uh, however, however I chose to deliver it, I hope you enjoyed it. <coughs> and uh, I shall see you again in the next video, where hopefully I'll make some more progress. See you then.